Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea. Currently, it is Friday afternoon. It is 6.36 in the afternoon on a Friday. And um, I won't lie, I'm tired. I'm tired. I attempted to take a nap earlier, but I can't even take a nap because then I was stressing over the fact that I cannot find the charger to my camera. And I feel like the last time I saw it, was when we went to Austin. When, yeah, when we were in Austin. But I feel like I, I don't know. It gotta be somewhere here. I'm going to be positive. <laughs> it gotta be somewhere here because I'm so tired of buying pieces for this camera. Anyway, so I'm supposed to be getting ready in about an hour to, oh shoot. Oh my God. Ugh. Okay, I am currently trying to turn in two assignments because I have two assignments due tonight for um, school and I should only have one super small assignment due but my professor she's keep changing the dates of our assignments and stuff and it's driving me crazy because one of the assignments that was due that it's going to take me a little bit of time to do wasn't due until the 20th of March and now it's due today that kind of irritated me because it's like I have other stuff going on and I don't I you're messing with my timeline you're messing with my schedule so, I have two assignments due. It is 6.40. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go to a dinner that I have to be at by 8 o'clock. And I still don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know how I want to wear my hair. I haven't even gotten in the shower yet. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And it is about to be 7 o'clock. So, that is going to leave me about an hour Okay, I'm gonna take 15 minutes to see if I can at least complete one of the assignments. Start getting ready. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> I completely lost track of time. I come, well, how did I lose track of time though? You know what? So often I do this, so often I do this. So, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> what's going on here. It's honestly just gonna be a vlog of my weekend. Nothing too fancy, probably nothing even really entertaining, but if you guys wanna come along, Let's go. Hey y'all, what's up? It is Saturday morning and it is going on 10.30. I'm about to go out real quick and grab um, one. I have to stop at the Amazon locker because I have a problem lately with Amazon. Like I've been buying way too much stuff from Amazon, but that's because I recently discovered Amazon clothes, which is honestly where I got this cute sweater from but um yeah I have to run to the Amazon locker and grab something that was delivered yesterday I'm gonna go to Starbucks and grab me some breakfast because I just lately I just haven't been feeling like cooking like I I want to cook but we still have the issue with our washer our laundry area and so we just have way too many nights and we just have to do way too much cleaning just to keep that at bay so I really haven't been trying to do much with you know cooking and being in the kitchen and stuff like that lately but then i also have to go and grab a few things from the px honestly i do want to start cooking i did file a complaint because we have been let me show y'all this we can't even use the washer and stuff at this point right and so we have like the carpet it's wet up until like this point now oh my gosh it's what it's worse <laughs> so it's worse now um so oh my god it's coming out even further so the water on the carpet it's like seeping out but now it's up to here it's wet all the way out here now so just so I can tiptoe over here so I can show y'all because it stinks and it's disgusting. Um, yeah, so we have to empty this bucket now a few times a day. You see all the mold and stuff on the walls. We can't really use anything in here. The paints, like we can't use the washer dryer or anything like that. Um, and if we do, you have to like start it over and over and over again. So yeah, this is... <laughs> And you can literally see the water actively leaking. We have been complaining about this for, since honestly, January. Um, oh, oh my God, that's so wet. 
we've been complaining and we've been trying to make work orders and all that stuff since January to get that situated, but they haven't even come out to look at it yet. Like they came out, I wanna say towards the end of January. All they did was put tape on it. Like I cannot make this up. All they did was put tape over um, the little leak and it barely even did anything. But ever since then, nothing. They haven't even come out to look at it. So I, I filed a complaint with the state um, basically citing fair housing because what are you doing? Like, I don't want to live in these conditions and we still have to pay rent and stuff like that. It's just, no, I don't, I don't like it. So I haven't been cleaning or anything like that. But now that I've made this complaint, I sent over like medical records and stuff like that because I feel like that's probably the reason I've been getting so many migraines lately is because one, it's really stuffy in here. It's things, the mold, how wet it is. It's just not like... Y'all, we not living good right now. <laughs> we not living good right now. We struggling, but it's it's fine. I'm actually gonna try to go out and um, do a little grocery shopping. Um, I gotta get some cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies, and yeah, because hopefully next week somebody out here to fix it and clean everything up. So we'll see how that works. Other than that, the only thing I'm about to be doing today is homework assignments. I don't want to do anything else y'all I've been struggling like I want to finish these classes I have so currently I am taking pathophysiology technical writing and then I have to take after this I'm hoping for the summer I can take microbiology and an ethics class and then after that I am going to be able to start the actual nursing program I'm going to be able to be admitted into the actual nursing program so then I will officially by no later than I'm hoping fall of this year but no later than spring of 2024 I will officially be a nursing student not a pre-nursing student not finishing prerequisites not any of that I will be a nursing student so that's why I am um, killing myself doing these classes while I'm in the respiratory therapy program and it's just been chaotic but I'm gonna be completely honest my pathophysiology class is driving me crazy because she's keep changing the assignment dates like one like I was telling you guys about the assignment that was due on the 20th now all of a sudden it was due yesterday and I was just looking at some exam that was due on a second turns out that wasn't even I did an exam and it wasn't even like part of my grade it's it's a lot it's a lot so yeah that's um life of a student right but I'm about to go ahead and throw on my shoes real quick oh I wanted to show y'all my sweater because y'all I just bought a second one from Amazon you know I don't know if anybody else does this but if I buy something and I really really like it and I know it's like for example this is a white sweatshirt so I, if I know that it's like prone to getting messed up I'm gonna buy it twice just in case I'm just to have a backup but anyway so this is my outfit for today so I have on these leggings that Trey bought me from I think I got these from Shein and then look at this sweat can I help you go, get out of here you already put dirt on it go but I have this sweater from Amazon and I got it in a extra small so I'll go ahead and have this look at that I love it it's perfect because it has so it actually comes up on the side like this it's super fitted like the arms to be honest i'd be having a hard time getting my arms in and out but it just looks so nice on you know so i'll have everything linked down below if you guys are interested but yeah i love that it just brings you in like i love this anyway um here are my crocs because i am going to wear my blinged out crocs today boom y'all i was talking to my son earlier and he got some crocs and it's funny because i guess his dad bought him a widget like one widget to go on each shoe and so when he showed me i'm like you have one on each shoe <laughs> so it's more than one he's like yeah i know so i'll probably end up buying him like some more little um 
Pokemon widgets for his for his crops, but what else do I have to do? Where is I don't want to carry this purse. Y'all, I got this cute purse, this Aldo purse from Ross. I love it so much. But yeah, I got all my stuff. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. So I just stopped at Starbucks, y'all. I just paid $20 and some change for two sandwiches and a drink. Why is Starbucks so expensive? Anyway, so I got the chai tea latte on ice with eight pumps of chai, six pumps of vanilla, and a thick layer of the matcha cold foam. I always have to say a thick layer because every single time I just say matcha cold foam, it's like a little bitty amount of the matcha cold foam but i like to get it like that because i like to mix it up and i also got a well i got two of the double smoke bacon sandwiches so i'm going to go ahead and eat those and i also went to the amazon locker and i just want to check this so this is how the athletic outfits that I wear come. And the last one that I bought, it was this exact same color, but I ordered it in a small, and there was a particular set that I wanted because this comes with the leggings, shorts, and two of the sports top. They sent me a medium, and it wasn't even the set that I had ordered. So, and this looks right. Okay, yeah, so they got it right this time. So I got this um, top here, and the way it goes is just like that. And it comes with just a regular top. It comes with leggings, right? And when I say these leggings are nice and thick, I think, honestly, this was like $50. Yeah. But it's really good quality to me. Like these leggings are really thick. I like that the waist isn't really, um, isn't really big, but it's still stretchy and it's not super tight where it's uncomfortable because I have some leggings where the waist, it's flattering, but it makes my stomach hurt because it's just squeezing me so tight. And then it comes with shorts. And the shorts are the same thing. Like, look at this material. It's like nice, thick, stretchy. And it's just this rib material. These are really flattering. I have this one. I ordered another one like in like a brown. I don't know, it's like a coffee color. No, it's not even that dark. It's like some type of brown color, like a brown grayish, honestly. I also ordered another one in black that's supposed to be here in a few days. And then I ordered another one of these tops and I also got this top in black and I wanna order more. So y'all, when I say Amazon has me in chokehold right now, chokehold. But I'm about to go ahead and stop at the store real quick and then take my ass back home because I wanna sit down and eat my breakfast. Trey wants to take Yusuke to the dog park, so I'm probably gonna go with them around 12 o'clock, um, just so I can see what that's about. He takes them out to some trail that I kinda wanna see, so I think it's about to be fun, but I kinda wanna chill a little bit beforehand. So, it is 11-11, oh my gosh, it's 11-11, wait a second. No! I'm gonna miss it, I got a screenshot. <laughs> my bad. 11-11. It's 11 11. Um, hold on, I gotta send it. I gotta send it at 11 11. Okay. We have this thing where if we catch it at 11 11, we screenshot and send it. But um, yeah, so it's 11 11 now, and I'm about to go ahead and head over to the store and then go home. I have about 45 minutes to at least get one assignment done, which isn't gonna be hard at all. And then, yeah chill and eat my food before I go to this trail. A part of me 
Girl, you, so, okay, all right. So you don't see me coming out here? Stupid. A part of me wants to go to the gym later. I don't even know if I wanna go to the gym. I just know I need to work out. I need to become a little bit more dedicated, y'all. Um, Trey goes to this kickboxing gym, or it's is it a kickboxing gym? I think it is a kickboxing gym. I just know he goes to the gym. He fights or whatever on the weekend. Sometimes he even do it throughout the week. But I am very, like, it's so motivating and I envy how dedicated he is to like his fitness, the, the programs and things that he signed up for, like just being able to get up and do it. And he's been helping me a lot with that. Like he was telling me about this five second rule that he learned. Um, and basically, if you know you need to do something and you're procrastinating, because as of right now, I am a very big procrastinator. You count. So I think he said five or 10 or something like that. But basically by the time you make it to the end of that number, you need to be getting up and just starting, just starting doing whatever it is that you need to do. And so I really need to start implementing that because I'll see him get up and just go and just be so active and do stuff. And I just be like, man, I wish I had that energy. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm start though, I'm gonna start. There's no better time than the next moment to change your mind, to change your ways, to change your habits. I don't have to wait until tomorrow. We gonna start right now. So, that's why I'm going to this trail with him in about 45 minutes. And I'm not gonna change my mind. So, I'm gonna see y'all then. got back from the little trail with Yusuke and I am just got off the shower I changed I'm about to go grab some food from Cheddar's order from Cheddar's yeah we ordered from Cheddar's this time but I just want to show off the outfit that I got from Amazon look how flattering this is ain't that cute and it's not even down low enough. These are the shorts. So it comes with shorts, two tops, and a pair of leggings. But look at that. Oh my goodness. I need to buy another one of these in this color just for backup. Because I told y'all when I like something and I feel like I can get messed up real easily, I need to buy a backup. This is so cute. Look at this. This one's nice. So much. But yeah, that's this outfit. I'm super excited about this outfit. It is so cute. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and leave and go and grab my food because they said it should have been done by five and I'm pretty sure. What is it? Yeah, it's like 5.15 now. So see y'all in a bit. 
Sunday and I'm about to go and put some gas in my car so I can get ready for this coming week. I need to come home, wash my uniforms and stuff like that. I need to order some pizza because Trey wants pizza. I don't know what I want to eat yet. So yeah, we got to get to the bottom of this so I can come back home and sit down and do nothing. I honestly think he's about to go and run. So I have time. I have time. I say you look good without no makeup, no lashes, even better when you wake up. Mm -hmm. My inspiration, girl, you're taking me places, get the words right into me. Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm leaving Papa John's. I just got the pizza, just picked up the pizza. We got a barbecue, the barbecue bacon pizza. He wanted the pepperoni crust, but he didn't tell me in time. So we got the regular barbecue bacon pizza. And I also stopped at Starbucks and got my usual drink. I got the chai tea latte on ice with light ice with eight pumps of the chai six pumps of vanilla and extra matcha cold foam is so good you gotta try it but i pulled over real quick because i almost forgot so i ordered these things off of i ordered these things off of uh etsy to go on my mirror so this one says you are enough and i want to put that on my rear view mirror but I also have this one, if it decides to focus. I also have this one that says, you are beautiful. And I wanna put that on the sun visor. So I'm about to go ahead and put those on real quick, y'all. I ended up buying my car a bunch of stuff. And um, I'll probably show y'all tomorrow after I get off work or something like that. But yeah, I bought a bunch of cute things for my car and I'm super excited about it because I honestly, I've never decorated any car that I've ever had. I've never actually decorated my car and I know it sounds corny, but again, it is my car's birthday. Okay. It's my car's birthday. Actually it passed, but, um, yeah, I decided to buy my car a few things and I'm super excited about it. But, um, I still have a few more things that have to come, but other than that, I'm super excited about what I already have. You know what? Forget it. I'm about to show y'all right now. So the first thing is, um, I got this steering wheel cover and it's like, can you see that? It's like the gold rhinestones in there. Look how cute that is. It's so cute. So yeah, that was one of the things that I got. And of course I still have my little turtle here. So this is a turtle, okay? It's a turtle. So I still have my turtle here that I've had for, honestly, since I got the car, but I just leave him there. And then I also got this cute little Starbucks thing here. And I got that off Etsy as well. And they have a bunch of different, um, like a bunch of different drinks of this little thing. But since my favorite drink is the pink drink, even though I haven't been drinking it because I've been obsessed with a chai tea. So I'm thinking I want to get one that is the chai one as well. But ultimately my favorite drink is the pink drink. So that's why I ended up getting the pink drink one. Um, I got these off Amazon. And it's an air freshener so I have like a little thing in there it comes with it it comes with like 12 or something like that it's so many but I only needed one that I just put here and it comes with a bunch of air fresheners so I just put the air freshener inside of there and I just think that is so freaking cute um, I also bought this scrunchie off of Amazon because I saw some pictures on Pinterest how people just put the scrunchie around this thing here and I just really like that so I got this color I got white gray and black so of course I can switch it out when I need to so yeah that's super cute I ended up finally breaking down and getting one of these y'all I was seeing these everywhere and I honestly don't judge me but I thought it was corny but I actually like it a lot I love it I kind of wish they had the gold color to match the thing on the steering wheel, but yeah, that's what I ended up getting. I also got these, um, what is it? The coasters for the cup holder. This one is honestly too small for this cup holder, but I still use it anyway because it's big enough. But the ones that I had before were a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's because it's completely rhinestone that they just made it smaller. But yeah, it doesn't cover the whole entire bottom like I would like it to. So later on, I might end up getting something different, but we'll see. But as of right now, I really like these. And then I have, I got both of these off of Amazon. Y'all, I love this. When I first got this, 
hold on I love this keychain when I first got it I kept staring at it because I'm like oh my gosh who do I think I am like oh my goodness so you got the key here and I'm gonna be completely honest so my actual key don't look like this so on my actual key the top button is the um, remote start and then you have the lock button the unlock button and then the alarm but I mean I just memorized that because they didn't have that one in this at all so yeah I just got this and I just remember what it's supposed to be and then my um, airpod case I love 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 this so much so I'm excited about that what else did I end up getting oh I got this right so I got this little sticky thing and basically it's it it holds anything that you stick that you lay on there basically like it'll just hold on to it so if i was to sit this like up here hold on still up again if i was just to sit it right here it'll just slide down but if i sit even if i just put this part here and let it dangle it's gonna hold it does what it's supposed to do and complete and to be and to be completely honest i want to cut this in half because i was going to buy the smaller one but they ran out so i'm thinking i'm going to cut this in half and i want to place it right here that's why i ended up moving this over because this thing holds my camera so good and i'm going to insert a video so you guys can actually see what i mean by how good this holds my camera like when i'm vlogging and stuff like that because it is it's beautiful and that's why i want it right here to vlog with see how good that holds so yeah it's just this sticky mat that just sits here and hold my things and I honestly like the way it looks just placed right there anyway so I just decided to leave it for now um I also ooh, I'm burping I also got this little glass sunglass holder um, and it has this card slip as well which is perfect for holding my cack so I just ended up putting this up here it's so good and then you have this magnetic part and that's a strong magnet as well and honestly I don't use these glasses often but I just like the way that looks sitting up there so yeah and I love this I got this from Etsy as well I got this so I got this from Etsy I got that from Etsy um, everything else so far I got from Amazon also got these little clip um, hanging things that I got from Amazon as well and they match the little cup holder things I just really like that I had a different version of these at first but I honestly think I like these a little bit more so I have them on this seat and I also have them over here on this seat um, and I think that's it for now I bought I'm waiting for two more things to come so I bought some um, pillows to go back here so basically it's going to be a pillow to sit right here a pillow to sit right here both back here and I just I can't wait to see exactly what it's gonna look like I think it's gonna be super cute I can't wait to see it and I also bought a um, what did I buy a Kleenex holder because y'all my nose be running like crazy I've never dealt with allergies until I got here to Texas and it was even like that last time y'all know what my kids had to go through with like Darion the whole body breaking out with something Amia losing all of her hair you know like I don't know what it is with Texas but people with allergies should not be down here so yeah I'm just waiting for those things to come and then hold on oh man so I ended up getting oh geez this whole entire box is my car cleaning kit and it's pretty big there is a bunch of cl um, cleaning products in here and I also have a another cleaning kit that I didn't open yet that's at home y'all I'm telling you I really do love cleaning my car I love cleaning my car so I also keep waters in my trunk so when I am done working out when I'm done running or whatever um, especially when I'm done running I'll just grab a water and I'll chug it after I'm done running or before I go into the gym I'll just come back here and I'll grab a quick water bottle and then go into the gym so yeah I hold on 
let me actually get out and go in the truck because this is not comfortable okay so like i was saying i have my water over here i have my car cleaning kit right here in this box and you see how big this box is i don't usually keep it in the car but um i need to find a tub or something like that so i can organize it a little bit more i'll just and i'll store this in the house it's only in the car because i cleaned my car yesterday so yeah i gotta take that out of here and then i have these um what are these so i have all of these air fresheners here from bath and body works that i ended up going to buy because i really love the room sprays from bath and body works for my car they were i love them the one that i have currently up there is my sweater weather because i don't care what time of year it is i'm going to use sweater weather i have more of the little air fresheners here because one thing about my car is it's going to smell good so i just have a bunch of air fresheners here we have another air freshener um of just a random pc here now in here i keep this closed like this but in here i have some hand wipes i have medication for my stomach because i'm always my stomach is always messed up and then i have a cpr mask for just in case and then in here um this is just like my jumper cables are under here my sun visor is under there i have an extra scarf some gloves these little trash can things that i bought that's honestly not practical so i just keep them back there i'm honestly thinking about throwing throwing them away soon because i don't need them i have some extra mask in here um i have like three of these hand sanitizers in here i think there's three i think i have three more in there but um yeah these are the extra what is this the the extra little flower things that i was telling y'all about it came with a bunch so i still have a bunch of those um these are um produce bags that i just bought and i need to buy some grocery bags um for when i'm going grocery shopping i just like to have the reusables in my car and then i also have these little storage things that i'm going to be filling with other things soon that you guys will probably see later on so hold on so yeah that is my car so far like i guess a mini car tour hold on so i guess that was like a little mini car tour honestly you can't even call that a car tour because i really didn't show you guys anything like just a car accessory haul whatever you want to call it i don't know but what I want to do is I think I want to go ahead and do an actual car tour um especially when everything else comes and I am done and my car is complete and I'm going to talk a little bit about it because I have a 2022 Nissan Kicks I bought my car last year brand new my first ever big purchase my first ever brand new car like first owner i was super excited about that so i don't know i'm thinking i'm going to do a car review because i love my car i don't care what anybody say i love my car now don't get me wrong is this my dream car no it's not my dream car but is it a car that i love and i make sure i take care of because i really do like my car yes yes it is so um yeah i'll probably end up doing that but i'm about to try to put these little things on my mirrors real quick so one second I did it and I love it. Look at that. I love that. Just a little reminder every day. It's so cute. And then look at this one. Ain't that cute? Hold on, where's the light? Oh, you can't even see with the light. Hold on. You are enough. I love that. All right, but I think that's it for now. I'm about to go ahead and go home because I'm pretty sure it's pizza i don't want it to get cold so i'm about to go ahead and go home get in the shower and start getting ready for work tomorrow because yeah y'all it's been trying it has been so trying at work y'all i am excited to become an rt but this is starting to make me realize like being here is starting to make me realize being here is starting to make me realize how did he just drive over this bump <laughs> anyway being in this course is making me realize more and more that i do want to be a nurse i want to be a nurse back to pretty much my original reason for wanting to come here is i wanted to be a nurse with the skills of an rt and i think that's what i'm starting to resort back to now don't get me wrong like doing rt work i really do like it there's just the little differences that i like better when it comes to being a nurse so it's 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 di it's differences but they're very repeatable jobs they're very um 
rough and tough schools like I'm, I'm not knocking RTs by any means because I'm about to be an RT um, definitely deserve to be respected I just like certain things and certain aspects when it comes to a nurse versus an RT and I honestly might make a video I look at me in this I'm gonna make a video on this I'm gonna make a video on that yeah okay hold me to it Anyway, I honestly might make a video given the differences between an RT versus nursing stuff now that I am a nurse and I've been a nurse for a few years now and then um, being in RT school, now I'm in clinicals and kind of understanding what that whole thing is about. So I might just do a video on the differences because I think it'll be helpful. But let me go ahead and go, okay? My man is waiting on me. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It is Monday morning and I am at the hospital and I just got back to my car um it is 0750 hold on let me get situated it is 0750 in the morning and I am supposed to be on the floor because currently in my rotations I'm in the burn ward so ISR I'm in the, I'm on the burn unit working for my clinicals I'm supposed to be on the floor doing my clinicals and okay let me back up so we're in a clinical stage right now of the respiratory therapy program and I am currently on the burn rotation. So I should be working on a burn ward, but my one of my instructors isn't here today. So we aren't going to be, um, we aren't going to really be on the floor, but we are going to be going on a tour in about an hour. So I've been here since uh, around six o'clock. So I've only been here for a few hours so far. But we don't have to be back in the classroom for another hour for that tour. So I decided to just run out to my car and take, honestly, I might take a nap. I just wanted to relax. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love interacting with my classmates and stuff like that. But y'all know me. I get really overwhelmed and I get tired so fast. And so I decided to come out to my car so I can just, you know, sit back, chill for a little bit. And so that's what I'm here doing now. I have no clue what today is going to be like, but I do know I'm going to be studying a lot. I'm going to be getting through this workbook because right now, so we are studying out of the Kettering for the respiratory um, therapy. In this respiratory therapy course, we're studying out of the Kettering. And so we have a workbook. And basically by the end of the course, so I have about another month, I have to have this entire workbook done and I won't even lie I've kind of been procrastinating I really could have been had it done but as tired as I be after class I don't want to be doing all this work then work out or whatever the case may be and then go home and sit and do the workbook but that's just me being lazy that's just me not being disciplined so I really do need to discipline myself and um, just get it done because there are some people I've there are some people, I really just need to get it done because there are some people in the class that, I'm ashy. There are people in the class that already have the workbook done, so there's not a reason, there's no excuse. So, I'm giving myself until, I'm pretty decently through it, but I'm gonna give myself until the 15th to be through, um, the current section that I'm on which is pretty big like the first section was pretty big this next section is pretty big and of course me talking about it you don't really know what it is that I'm talking about but yeah um it's just a lot to get through so I'm giving myself until the 15th to be through that because I need to get this book done that way I can actually focus and you know like really focus on the study book on the study material so as far as today I feel like today is going pretty good um, I'm really trying to work on being more healthy being more productive being more progressive just you know doing things with intention and I am feeling good today I woke up way earlier than I usually do so my alarm went off at four o'clock I did hit snooze and I slept for about another hour after that, but I got up at 5.15ish, and usually it's damn near six o'clock that I'm getting up to head to work. So I think that was pretty good. Um, tomorrow, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to start getting up on Tuesdays and Thursdays 
at four o'clock in the morning so I can go to the gym since we don't have PT on those days I'm gonna try to get up extra early and go to the gym in the morning before work I don't know how this is gonna go tomorrow like I've done it before but it did not go according to plan at all I kind of woke up a little too late so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to restart that again but start getting up at four that way I don't feel like I'm rushing through my workout and rushing and stuff like that like the the point of me getting up that early is so I don't have to rush so I don't have to like be in a hurry to do things and I completely missed that point so we're gonna try to start this all over again and yeah get up at 4 instead of 4 30 so that's the plan anyway but yeah I'm about to sit here and um, scroll on my phone a little bit make some plans look at my credit do all that stuff all the stuff all the things that you need to do to get your life together I'm trying to take advantage of any free time I have when it comes to doing that but that is the reason I am currently in scrubs and these are the scrubs that you just get out of the scrub X here at the hospital nothing special I won't lie I like the scrubs don't get me wrong I'm having the scrub X I think that's really good because you can really save money with because you don't have to buy scrubs but it would be nice to wear my own scrubs because I feel like I have a color that's close to this it's a little bit more flattering and um, yeah I just have a nice collection of scrubs that I wish I can wear to work but it is what it is whatever it's funny though because like me me wearing my scrubs me wanting them to fit a certain way me wanting to look nice on my scrubs and stuff like that it's not even about me wanting to look sexy and it's not about me wanting to like get attention I just want to have dignity in what I look like. I want to like what I look like and I want to look nice in what I wear. Like, I never put anything on with the thought of, oh yeah, let me not look good in this or let me not look flattering in this. When I put on anything, my uniform, my scrubs, my civilian clothes, whatever the case may be, I want it to be flattering to me. I want it to be presentable. I want it to look nice according to my standard. So that's the reason I like to look nice. And I only mention that because I've had quite a few people comment um, when I was in the Charlie course and now that I'm in this course, comment on the way my scrubs fit and like me having my scrubs and stuff tucked in. Of course, I have a shape. I have a very shapely body. And so the way I wear my scrubs is just gonna fit that way. But then you're told, oh, you're not here to look good. You're not here to look sexy. First of all, it's not about looking sexy. I have a lot of sex appeal so that comes naturally okay but looking good in what I wear you damn right I want to look good being at work like who don't want to look nice being at work I want to look nice I want to look presentable I want to have a little bit of dignity in what I wear so I only say that because I swear when people say certain things about my clothing in relation to my body it's offensive to me it really is because I was told that my pants are too tight and I'm gonna be completely honest hold on so these are my bottoms this is what the top is looking like in relation to the bottoms So that's what my uniform is given. That's what it's looking like. And I was told that um, I was told that they were too tight, right? I was told that they were too tight. My uniform is too tight, and I need to either go up a size, which at that point they're going to be really big because I am in this weird <laughs> in-between size. And I was also told um, if I don't go up a size, I need to untuck my shirt. Now that was, I don't know, like I'm really not trying to be sensitive. I'm not at all. But that was offensive to me because one, I don't even got the biggest ass in a class, okay? There are people that's walking around with their, that that actually has a too tight uniform. Like that, that's actually like your, your, your uniform is fitting like leggings. Do you get what I'm saying? But even then, why does it matter to you like why does it matter to you as long as it's not sloppy as long as it's not you know busting out the seams and it looks it looks presentable it shouldn't matter you know what i'm saying your opinion if it's not based directly out of the regulation why does it matter to you because last time i checked i don't see any specifications for scrubs that's all I'm saying but for you to tell me that I have to do these things but you have 
instructors walking around, your shirt's tucked in, his shirt's tucked in, their shirt's tucked in, but you're telling me I have to untuck my shirt to cover up my bottom. My bad I got a big ass. Oops, my bad, you know? So there's certain things that I feel like is off limits and stuff like that, but obviously being in the military, people just can do and say whatever they want to do and say however they want to do and say it without any regards to anybody's feelings or how it's going to come across but because you outrank me i just have to take it and take it as law take it as gospel and unfortunately these days i just haven't been doing that i'm going to question everything so i say this to bring up the point of it's okay for you to set boundaries even if you are in the military you have all the right in the world to set boundaries period point blank if somebody is saying something to you and it is offensive and you do not like what they're saying you have all the right to draw that land that sign that line in the sand and say i don't like this i don't want you to talk to me about this or i'll need you to phrase it in a different way you know what i'm saying especially if it's something that's based out of their opinion and not fact it is 100 percent okay for you to have boundaries when it comes to anybody because for some strange reason they want you to believe that whatever your leadership say that's law yes to a certain extent it's true but if you're saying something that is offensive not only are you saying something that's offensive and you know it's coming across wrong for example if you have to start a statement with don't take this the wrong way but maybe you should be quiet maybe you shouldn't say anything at all because you know it's about to come across wrong especially if it's based in opinion it's not anything in a regulation it's not anything in a policy if it's based in your opinion, save it. If it's based on your opinion and nobody's doing anything wrong, save it. It's perfectly fine for you to have boundaries when it comes to your leadership. If they're commenting on the way your clothes fit your body, if you're not out of regulation, you have all the right in the world to be like, I don't need, I don't, I don't want you to talk about that or I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. If they are talking about a topic that you're not okay with, if they say something that you're not okay with, if they do something or don't do something that you're not okay with, it is perfectly fine for you and be like, yeah, mm -mm, I'm, I don't like that, okay? Do not let your voice get lost. Do not let your voice get taken because you feel like you don't have rights in the military. I know that's what they told us in basic. I don't know if that's what they're still telling you, but in basic, when I went through, they will tell you straight up, you do not have rights. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you have the right to dignity as well. So don't let anybody say anything to you to make you feel less than or feel any kind of way because we're not, we not putting up with that. But I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. I want to scroll on my phone now. Hey, y'all. What's up? Back in uniform. It is after class and I am supposed to be heading to PT. I might be running late today because I have to run to my old company to grab some paperwork that hopefully... What's going on? that hopefully they even have so yeah oh shoot let me start this so yeah i'm about to go ahead and go and head over there and do that real quick i'm trying to remember which way i'm supposed to go now to get on main post because the gate that's closest to me and the way i usually go in is closed <clears throat> so now i gotta find my way around if it's just too late to go to pt i'm just gonna run over to Nissan to get a safety inspection so I can renew my registration because they expire at the end of the month. So if I don't hurry up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just be carpooling because I ain't gonna have no registrations on this car. I am not having a good morning. I am not having a good morning at all. Um, please excuse my hair. I did have it like in a raggedy ass ponytail, but I've since then taken it down and I'm trying to like put it up somehow because it seems that that's what my hair wants to do today. It doesn't want to be down. It wants to be like up in some type of updo. So I'm just trying to give it what it wants. Um, yeah, it's dry honestly haven't washed it in the past few days i just um 
wet it just so I can get it like down in a ponytail. But yeah, so now I feel self-conscious coming outside. I almost said unconscious. <laughs> I'm feeling self-conscious. Cut, I need the shade. I'm feeling self-conscious coming outside because of what I look like. Despite this cute outfit that I got from Amazon that I have on. Uh, so it shouldn't matter, but I just, I look like nothing today. I look like... I look like how I feel, like I didn't even want to try and I don't like that. Anyway, I'm finally coming on here so I can go ahead and close out this video because it's been too long. Like y'all, I'm not, ooh, did I just pull my hair? <laughs> I gotta look like something first. Uh, this is horrible. Hold on, let me try to look like something real quick. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Trust me when I say it is not that much better, but at least it's out of the way and at least my hair is out of the way. Anyway, so just to close this video out, where have I been? Because I've been getting that question a lot. Where are the vlogs? Where you been? Where to post? Y'all, I've been here. That's all I can say is I've been here. Like, y'all, I've been going through a lot of, y'all, okay, let's back up a little bit. I've been open with you guys about my mental health struggles and the things that I'm going through. And I try to be a little bit more transparent when it comes to my military experience because y'all know I started on YouTube with making strictly educational, um, regulation-based, fact-based things about the military. Like this is how the military pay works. This is how you take leave. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be known as that, especially when I started experiencing other things in the military. And then when you try to speak about these things, they try to take your platform. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna try to do what I saw. Cause what I was trying to do, I saw other people doing it. That's why I started creating content like that. But I don't wanna be known as a military spokesperson. I'm not an army spokesperson. I'm not speaking for the army. I'm speaking for me and my experiences being a single mother in the army. Because originally that's what I wanted my content to be. Just me helping single moms like myself navigate through the army and that's kind of what i'm here for anyway so along the lines along along the lines along the along the way i've been dealing with a lot of a lot of things that i'll probably get into um a little bit later in future videos but uh i just drew a blink <laughs> so i've been going back and forth to behavior health and trying to um address a lot of that stuff and i've since been diagnosed with anxiety and depression which i already knew that um major depressive disorder so that was kind of new and then ptsd so i mean i had a i, I just didn't have a lot going on but i'm gonna honestly say i feel like these days All I do is no but these days i feel like it's more so of my anxiety that really really be kicking my ass because I honestly I don't know why I don't know why because I felt like for so long I was doing really good when it came to like my mental health you know a, even a, a nice balance but as far as my normal like right now when I tell people that the things that I currently go through is normal for me they're shook they're taken back like so I was up so late last night, right? And I feel like I only allowed myself to stay up that late was because I don't have to, I didn't have to go to work today and I did not get any sleep. And that's how it is on a regular though. For me, that's how it is on a regular. Like I would get in bed, I would try to go to sleep, but I can't usually. Okay, so last night I was up until pretty much four o'clock in the morning. I, I, it's what, nine o'clock now. I woke up around eight o'clock, but I didn't go to sleep until four o'clock, a, a little bit after four o'clock my alarm every day goes off at four o'clock for me to get up and get ready for work so sometimes i will be up and my mind is just racing 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 to the point i can't go to sleep and if my alarm goes off it's just forget it i don't i don't even try to get like a 30 minute nap or anything i would just be up i would just be like forget it let me just you know stay awake and then i'll probably get up around five and start getting ready for work before i know it i've been up for like 72 hours straight and i don't know what to do so I was really going through it when I ended up running out of medications and the way Fort Sam is when it comes to their healthcare stuff, it drives me crazy. So I could not sleep to save my life. I was like sneaking off and getting like 30 minute naps and stuff like that because then I started crashing throughout the day while I'm at work and I just didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. I'm going to be honest. So 
yeah i i take ambien now to help me sleep um i think i'm up to 10 milligrams to help me sleep but hopefully if i can get like my anxiety and stuff in order you know that works itself out because i feel like the biggest problem for me right now is my sleep um is my sleep so yeah and i feel like it also has something to do with like me being here back in school you know taking my civilian classes taking these classes just being really really stressed out um with other stuff so hopefully once that's all done and over with and i'm away from a lot of the stuff that'll be pretty much um that'll be pretty much done so yeah um that's pretty much it like honestly i just been going through it like trying to figure out mentally where I'm at and what it is that I need to do and what it is that I, I even need, you know? Quite a few mornings, y'all, I've been waking up depressed as fuck. I mean, depressed as hell. Like, oh my goodness, like today, oh my God, like it's only 10 o'clock and today drained me. Like my eyes, even talking right now, my eyes are so tired. I was just laying in bed for like an hour because I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like I was just, not in a good mood i wasn't i wasn't sad i wasn't mad i just felt worthless like i felt like what am i doing like what wh where am i going like what am i doing today like oh my god it was just so bad so yeah i've been waking up like that a lot and i honestly think it's because i didn't have a to-do list because y'all know if i don't have my notebook I'm obviously going through a crisis and I haven't had my notebook for a while because I don't know what to write in it but I make a to-do list and so when I'm up and I'm I'm just up all night I'll like make a to-do list and that was part of the reason I couldn't get to sleep because I would lay down and something would pop into my mind like oh shit let me put that on my to-do list to do in the morning oh dang I forgot to do this too let me go ahead and do that actually you know what I gotta research this in the morning let me remind myself to research this in the morning like stupid things I would be jumping up all throughout the night to put on my to-do list and so by the time I get up in the morning I have this giant to-do list to do I just did not wake up feeling good I wake I woke up wanting to be in tears because I just felt so shitty about myself that I just wanted to cry in out of frustration that I didn't know where the feeling was coming from so there's that as far as school though go ahead and change the subject if you guys didn't know I am in the respiratory therapy course so I'm a 68 Charlie which is an army OPN so I am a licensed practical nurse um I'm a nurse going red going respiratory therapist so I'm in school um 68 Victor school which is respiratory therapy school for the army and yeah we graduate soon I mean really soon I'm scheduling our test I actually take my test on the 8th and y'all please wish me luck because I don't know how it's going to turn out I'm gonna be completely honest there's some things that I've had to go through in this course that really threw off my focus so I just my head just haven't been in the game and I won't lie a part of me I care but because of it i just disregarded everything i'm like whatever what i don't even care anymore i care but i don't if that makes any sense like i, I just been too distracted anyway anyway i'm heading to my next duty station and i'm not going to be sharing exactly what that is just yet um if you know you know but don't put it anywhere because I'm so sick and tired of my leadership, new leadership, people that think they know me attacking me simply because I have a social media presence and that drives me absolutely crazy. Cause ding, 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 of course it would happen here and the 68 Victor course as well. So it's just a lot of, yeah, it just be a lot of nonsense going on. So I decided moving forward, I'm not gonna be sharing my, um, unless I feel comfortable enough, but I won't really be sharing my duty locations before I get there anymore. It's gonna be when I'm there and settled in and stuff like that. Um, if I even decide to share then. I won't even lie, I did not even think I was gonna make it this far. Um, how many videos ago, what, I failed a test. I thought I went to the commander for other things and I was actually asking to leave the course. Like, y'all, I did not think that I was going to make it to this point because I have a habit of thinking that when there's certain things that I'm struggling at and I feel like so many people around me is excelling and I feel like I'm like struggling I think I can't I, I, I automatically be like yeah you don't cut it like being a nurse I didn't think I was smart enough to become a nurse I'm a nurse now I didn't think I was smart enough to make through this course I'm gonna be honest I just made it through the course yeah I mean I got some work on myself to do but it is what it is but the point is yeah, I made it through the course and I'm super excited. Not necessarily excited to be going to my next duty station. Um, 
but I'm excited to be done and moving on to the next thing whatever it brings whatever comes with it I'm going to take it in stride because I'm trying to I'm just trying to live better that's it that's all I'm trying to do there's my social medias and that's the reason why I've kind of been taking a break on can I turn this on that's kind of why I've been taking a break on my social medias because y'all, I gotta study. I gotta focus on my reality. If I'm just letting everything go because I'm trying to focus on social media, I won't have anything to film because I'm filming my life. So if I let my life go to shit, <laughs> I mean, I guess I can film that. That might be entertaining, but mm -mm. <clears throat> that's not the goal. I was investing a little bit more into Instagram because y'all, Instagram was paying me. But now that they decided to take away their bonus reels um i still been posting my reels but not as consistently as i was and not as like i guess the quality isn't there the thought it's just just posting to post just post to grow my platforms and to have that exposure at this point i'm not about to be busting my ass to do all that for no reason like i was making a decent amount um each month um for a decent amount for my following each month when they were giving out the reels so that was rewarding like that was a motivator okay now not so much so i would post i will post maybe i won't maybe i will maybe i won't maybe i'll only post on tiktok and i won't post anywhere else so because i definitely started doing that a little bit more so yeah and i'm not paying for that little blue check mark the hell the hell i look like i ain't doing that and i'm only saying that because why would that make sense like you want to take away paying me for posting my content and then charge me for a freaking check mark? Come on. Like, no, ain't no way. So, mm, Instagram, they, they doing the most at this point. So, yeah, since they're not paying, I just haven't really been on focusing on school and stuff like that. And as far as YouTube, y'all, I just been feeling boring now. Do I bore y'all now? Because I be feeling like... I be feeling like, I don't know, like I'm boring. And then how do y'all feel about me having Trey in my videos? Because I feel like he's been in more and more of my videos and y'all that's baby, that's 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 my bae. He ain't, as far as I'm concerned, he ain't going nowhere. So he's gonna be in my content. Just like the kids when I have them, if they wanna be in my content, they're gonna be in my content. So yeah, that's, that's another thing. Cause one thing I'm gonna tell y'all is on Instagram, y'all I went from like 32,000 down to 30 and five just because of just because i've been posting him simply i want to say i lost like a thousand followers my first post i posted him i was like wow wow that's crazy but it didn't it didn't matter to me because i'm gonna be honest i've been going for more of a female audience anyway so i feel like most of the people that have exit the building is dudes that like seeing my body posts which i mean don't get me wrong i still post oh there goes my deodorant i still post but not as much and like i said i have a man so i had a man <laughs> and my man my man my man so i'm gonna post him okay especially when it's cute but yeah i don't know if that was like the same effect over here now that he's in my content if y'all have an issue with that i'm gonna be honest i'm only asking just for a poll but he's still gonna be in my content Cause that's my man my man my man <laughs> as far as me and trey yes because i i was getting it a lot on tiktok like oh my gosh you look happy or this is goals blah 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 and, 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 it's so cute oh my god so cute i became my own relationship goals y'all that's crazy <laughs> it's been amazing it's been so great this is coming up on the one the best year of my life honestly um it has been so he has been so gentle so loving so healthy just just literally i know people use the term you're a breath of fresh air but no like this has been the lightest relationship in 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 light of everything that i'm going through right that makes me feel way down and stuff like that he just he's so light like he's so light he makes me feel light. and don't get me wrong um i know so i had a few people basically telling me like when i posted something about how i feel um being casually suicidal let's put it that way um i was i posted something on my instagram and tiktok um and uh, some of the comments were 
if I was your man, I wouldn't make you feel like that. Or how you feel like that if you have a man, he should be there to do X, Y, and Z for you. Like just basically saying that he's responsible for my happiness and he's not. He's responsible for adding to my happiness, but I'm responsible for making myself happy. And on top of that, it don't like what I'm going through. I'm going through anxiety. I have anxiety. I have depression. I periodically go through things and drop into these very dark places in my life. Even though I can have everything going on for me, I still feel this way. You must be God himself if you think you're going to come into my life and, and, and fix this problem. Like you can't fix what's going on with me. I have to fix it myself. Even though I've found peace in myself, I found happiness in myself, I still go through these things because of what I've had to deal with and like the conditions that I have, you know? Yeah, it's nice that you would want to come in and fix me, but that's one of the best things. That is one of the best things about him is he don't feel like he needs to fix me. Oh my God, y'all don't understand y'all don't understand like the things that this man has done for me and the things that this man has said to me to make me feel validated not crazy and not isolated when I am going through things have been unmatched by anything I have ever experienced before it is purely amazing it is amazing and the fact that he didn't come in and he feels like he needs to fix me he don't need to fix my problems he just needs to be supportive have that's been a game changer it's been a game changer like he's here he's mine and he ain't going nowhere let's just put it that way because that's one thing that i couldn't stand in my past relationships is people that come in and they feel like they need to fix me so in the past i would have people telling me stuff like that like you just need to get up and do it if i'm not able to clean if i'm not able to get up and go work out if i'm not able to like just be up i would get like bashed about it like i would have exes that would come over to my house and look around and it won't even be that you know that messed up like my room don't get me wrong so my room mess complete mess but the rest of my house i would have to clean it because i have kids and just because i feel so exhausted and you know just drained i i don't they don't they, they're they don't have to go through that and honestly that's why i was so blessed to have my sister living with me for so long so for the ones that always want to chime in and say oh your sister needs to work your sister needs to do this or why is your sister there and she don't do anything that's what she was doing for me she was the place of peace she was my mental stability when i wasn't able to do anything she was the one that was cooking and cleaning and doing all these things because the only thing i had energy for was going to work period point blank that's it so that's what she was there for she was there for my mental sanity so no she don't need to work as long as i have the money to pay for everything and i'm sorry that i'm yelling pretty much but y'all coming for my sister was pissing me off it was really pissing me off because you don't know if, if you don't know about a situation just ask i'm i'm an open book i'm perfectly okay with telling you why she's there but that's the reason she was there because I needed her to be there. Now, I would have like exes and stuff come over and they would see my room a mess and they would say, oh, you this is filthy, this is disgusting, you being nasty. And I'm just laying there already feeling like shit about myself, like feeling like shit, like don't get me wrong, you come in, I know it's nasty, right? The rest of the house will be clean. You don't think I'm looking around like, damn, I need to get up and clean up. I would literally get up and clean the sink out and I would be exhausted and I would go and lay back down. And I'm getting bashed for it. When it comes to Trey, I was so scared that I was gonna have to deal with that, that when I finally opened up and I told him the things that I was going through, I even gave him the option. I was leaving before he even got a chance to respond. I was like, yeah, if you wanna leave, that's perfectly fine. I get it, I get it, I get it, blah, blah, blah. And his response, y'all, he said, this is the stuff that you need to tell me beforehand. This isn't a problem, it's just we need to learn how to deal with it now. I don't want us to get years down the road and then you finally tell me these things and then we have to kind of go back from the beginning so I can relearn this all over again. So I'm glad you told me. Y'all. What else? I get to the point where I'm, I just can't clean. Like I'm just too tired to clean. This man, I literally came in one day and I was overwhelmed. He had cleaned everything already and he was like, yeah, I know you mentioned something about um, um, 
the clutter and I know with me with my anxiety and stuff it acts up when my area isn't clean so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for you because it seems like you're having trouble <sighs> or it'll be something simple like if I can't get up and I can't work out he'll ask me to just go and walk around the track like little things y'all I'm sorry I'm getting emotional because it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me because I don't like what I go through. I don't like that I have anxiety. I don't like that I go through depression. I don't like that I have these things. And to have someone just come in with no judgment, no no judgment, just complete understanding and support. It just, I deserve this, okay? <laughs> but yeah, he's just amazing. He's amazing, so he's not going anywhere. And that's why I say he's gonna be in my content yeah but other than that um it's just us trying to focus on us and learning each other before the kids are introduced into the situation so and i'm really excited for that like i am so excited for my kids to meet him like and i've never been excited for my kids to meet a man ever any time and i mean any time in the past because my son's about to be 13. So I've been going through 13 years of being nervous, okay? Because when I'm introducing my kids to someone or it gets to the point where it's kind of like inevitable that they have to meet them, I'm never excited. I'm never excited. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm on guard. I'm like trying to like make sure it's the perfect environment and I'm controlling everything because you're not about to play with me or my damn kids is how I feel but with him it's so effortless we have a trip to Disney World or whatever it's two adults two kids he got that right but um and of course he has a son so we're just gonna go ahead and buy his son's tickets but little things like that it's like wow this is like real consideration it's not oh yeah this is my girlfriend he understands without me having to tell him that this it's us you know it's me and the kids not just me and the kids if that makes any sense if you know you know if you're a single mom and you date you know what i'm talking about but it's y'all it's you just gotta be here but you can't because he's mine but just know i'm happy i'm really doing well and that's probably another reason why i kind of been absent other than that y'all i've been considering getting out of the army i've been strongly 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 considering getting out of the army i haven't been able to really pull the trigger just yet because i just don't know like y'all the army is a big part of my life and if you know me you know that this organization means a lot to me i know it may sound cliche and stupid to some people but the army is the first thing that I've ever done right in my life for myself. And it's not easy to consider even giving that up. So this is hard for me, but because it gets in the way of me being an apparent, being a parent, it's to the point where I'm thinking like, yeah, it's time. It's probably time to, you know, take those boots off because I'll be damned if I look up 20 years from now. Well, how many more years I got? If I look up 13 years from now and, you know, my kids only know me as you know being there sometimes or missing missing appointments missing events missing awards missing games and stuff like that i just don't like that don't get me wrong the periodic missing of games i can deal with that my my kids can deal with that my son was even able to deal with that Am I, is my car dying let me make sure i'm not killing my car battery my son was even um okay with that but when it gets to the point where I have to have someone move in to live with me to help me take care of my kids or I have to have them gone for an extended period of time just to do this job it's time to hang it up so even it's still not easy it's still not easy because I love being in the army but we are gonna see we are gonna see hopefully at my next duty station I find some stability I find that peace I finally start getting to do the things that I wanted to do with my military career because y'all wanted to deploy I haven't deployed just yet and here I am coming up um, I've been in for seven years now so I know some people go their whole career without deploying but that was not my intent that was not my goal I want to do airborne I want to do all these schools but now that my fucking body's breaking down I there's just things that I feel like if I'm not going to be able to accomplish the things that I came here to accomplish, what's the point of being here? I need to get out and explore my potential elsewhere. So, yeah, yeah, that's um, that's where I'm at. That's where I've been. That's that's the update. That's it. <laughs> 
but um i'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all there i'm a um, we have a class outing today at 1300 it's only 10 o'clock so i got some time i need to study a little bit beforehand but before i do anything i need to go and get some food so i think i'm about to go to snooze and get some bacon eggs and potatoes or do i want to go to bakery lorraine and get some quiche i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all here i finally closed out the video yay y'all this has been a long time coming god damn i thought i was gonna have to um delete some footage but just listen the footage that's before this all that footage i understand that it's probably a little older it's probably a month maybe a few months old can y'all bear with me and watch it and like it and and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed um yeah yeah hopefully i have a little bit more time because y'all i'm about to start really documenting what i'm doing because i feel like there's good things coming i feel like even though even though i go through all this nonsense it's a lot that i am grateful for so but i'm gonna see y'all in my next video because i gotta go get some food so i can come back and sit down and do nothing bye